This is Aaron and welcome to another episode of I Love Tinnies. Welcome back to I Love Tinnies. My name is Aaron. I'll be your host again today and uh, every day. Uh, second episode. What did you guys think of the first episode? Uh, I've had a lot of feedback. The imaging is now around the right way so you can actually read what I've got there. And uh, yeah, it'll all be in the same format. So today, I know I said last time that I would be reviewing KB Lager. However, it's really hard to find. I think you can get it in Sydney, but I guess we'll uh, I guess we'll find that out. And and we will be reviewing KB in in a little while. Uh, so today, I've decided to review Forex. Forex Australian beer uh, has been around since like the 19th century. It's originally done in, in Queensland and stuff. Uh, unfortunately, Forex Bitter is only available in Queensland. So today we will be reviewing Forex Dry, which is their new release. Basically, I believe it's the same beer. They've just remarketed it to a younger audience. And also, I did get a long year Forex Gold. I know it's only mid strength. But I wouldn't be reviewing Forex if I wasn't reviewing Forex Gold. Uh, eventually, we will review Forex Bitter, but we'll get there. So, here we go. It smells a bit metallic. Here we go. Cheers. Mm, that's all right. Got a strong aftertaste. Hang on. It's quite robust. I'm, I'm not hating it. A lot of people bag out forex. A lot of people sort of give it a bit of grief, but um, I mean it's all right. It's 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 better than some beers I've tried. Hold on. Uh, that's about all I can say at the moment. Yeah, it's it's not too bad. Um, a lot of people would like it. I prefer my beers with a bit of a milder flavour. However, um, it's not too bad. It actually tastes a fair bit like Four X Bitter, which I mean, it, it's been a while since I've had one. But um, up in Queensland, what they call Four X Heavy over the over the bar. Oh, what a bit of gas! All right, first one's done. Eh, it's not too bad. I have the second one. Eh, yeah, it's all right. It's definitely a lager, but it's it's yeah, it's 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 yeah, it's not too bad, I suppose. Um, hold on. I mean, it's going down all right. It's definitely not. I don't know. I don't think I drink it on a regular basis, but. It's going down all right. If there was an esky full at a mate's place and he said, grab yourself one of them, I, I, I think I'd probably, you know, grab a dozen, but that's just me, I, you know. All right, that's the second can. Time for the longie of 4X gold. Let's see how this goes. Oh, look, it's got trivia on it. We'll go through that in a few minutes, even though my eyes are stuffed. Sorry I swore on the video last time. It smells different, but it's also from a long end. I didn't want to buy a six pack of 4X Gold because it's mid-strength, you know, hang on. It's a lot lighter. 4X Gold is a lot lighter. Um, it's also a little bit gassier and it's a bit fruitier. It's, it's almost... Yeah, it's definitely a fruitier lager. It's, yeah. I mean, if it was full strength, I'd drink it, but, you know, anyway. Alright. Yeah, I don't 
don't mind it. I mean, there's two standard drinks in along here, though. I mean, not that I'm here to promote alcoholism, and, and by all means, everybody, please remember to drink responsibly. Uh, I am a trained drinking professional, and as such, uh, you should not copy what I do. Please do not try this at home, and um, remember to drink responsibly, and don't ever drink and drive, guys. It's 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 a stupid idea. Um, so yeah, hang on. I think it tastes better than the Forex Dry, but the Forex Dry is coming out of a can, and the Forex Gold is coming out of a bottle. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. Oh, that's better. Well, look at that. There's a pregnancy warning on it. Make sure you don't drink longies when you're pregnant. Actually, no, it says alcohol can cause... Alcohol can cause lifelong harm to your baby. So remember, don't drink when you're pregnant. Especially not longies, man. It's not a good look, eh? I once saw a bloke walking out of Dan Murphy's, right? And he was walking out of Dan Murphy's on a, like at 9.30 in the morning. I was at the chemist right across the road. And... My old mate was walking out with half a dozen longies of Woodstock and cola. I mean, you all know what that Woodstock stuff's like. It's like rocket fuel. And he had one in his hand and he was going at it about 9.30 on a Wednesday morning. I mean, cheers, mate. You know, drink responsibly. Okay, so I'm on the arse end of the longie. And i got to say, that the, the, the gold's not too bad, but it leaves a really sort of fruity aftertaste. And... <laughs> Excuse me, right, right on time. When you belch, uh, you can taste that fruit coming back, which is, you know, I mean, it's, it's better than this taste of spew, I suppose, but, you know, cheers. Oh, I love the piss. So I'm just having a look here at a bit of detail here about 4X as, as, as a brand, and uh, everyone remembers Mr. 4X. Mr. Forex is the old mate with the big hat with the four X's around it. He was their logo for like years. And, and I mean, he still is their logo, but he doesn't appear on the bottle here, nor does he appear on the can here. But everyone remembers Mr. Forex. There'll be an image down in the corner. But, um, hang on. Third tinny. Cheers. Who remembers the ads in the 80s for Forex? I mean, it was the, the slogan was, I can't just can't wait for it. I've got the taste for it. I can feel the Forex coming on. And I remember there was an ad with uh, Alan Border sitting on the beach drinking some piss. And then there was three other blokes and they, they saunter up to him. Run the clip. I wish this lazy Sunday would never disappear And I could hold back Monday for the rest of the year I can feel a forex coming on coming on. I can feel a forex coming on, coming on. I've got the taste for it I just can't wait for it I can feel a forex coming on. Finishing tinny number three. <coughs> oh. Look, it's starting to go down a bit better. Let's read some trivia. Oh, yeah, my eyes are stuffed. Which medal presented? The AFL's highest goal kicker in the home and away season. Does anyone know or does anyone even watch AFL? I mean, I'm sure my subscribers in Victoria, which I probably don't have any yet, however hope to have, would know the answer to this. But um, the answer is the Coleman medal. I mean, why is Forex doing ads, doing, doing things for... You know, for AFL. Anyway, you know, they, they played in Brisbane, the Brisbane Lions. I went and saw a game there once. It was pretty good. Cheers. Tinny number four. Oh. 
Ooh. Yeah, look, it's it's it is starting to go down a bit better. I mean, I've just you know drunk about six beers in twenty minutes, but um, it is starting to go down a bit better. Got the taste for it. I just can't wait for it. I can feel a forex coming on. Tier number six. They say that Forex Gold is Australia's favourite beer on the Forex website. Uh, in the comments, just down there, and also make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, in, in the comments down below, let me know if you think that Forex is Australia's favourite beer and what you think Australia's favourite beer is. And I think they're trying to compete with Tui's Extra Dry, but it also says there, Pride of Queensland. That's... Uh, that's pretty good. I'm also uh, starting to get a bit pissed on it, to tell you the honest truth. I'm um, definitely starting to get a little bit pissed. Jeez. Oh, I do love a tinny. Nice one. Okay, so I'm on the arse end of tinny number seven. This is my eighth tinny and the longy. I mean, it was only half strength, I suppose. It was 3.3%, but still, you know, I mean, it's like another tinny, I suppose. You know what, I reckon this is going to be my last one. got to say, it, I mean, it's all right, but <sighs> when it comes right down to it, I probably wouldn't buy it again. It's, uh, it's all right, you know. I mean, it, it, it's drinkable. Uh, it's it's definitely consumable, but uh, I mean, I wouldn't say it's tasty. That's got to be said, guys. Um, bit of a dud this week. I'm sorry. Um, they say it's the pride of Queensland. If this is the pride of Queensland. Don't be too proud, guys. But, I mean, it's okay. Don't get me wrong. And, and and different people have different tastes. So, you know, I mean, have a bit of a go. Uh, give it a go. It's it's not a bad beer. It's brand new. It's uh, in all of Dan Murphy's. It's actually in the cool room. A box of 15 is only 31 bucks. So, uh, you know, see how you go. If you, you might like different beers to me. I mean, everybody likes something different. It's, um, yeah, it's not a competition. It's just this is my personal review. You know what I mean? So, hang on, I'm going to knock this down. So, oh, I've actually got seven of these, uh, seven of these remaining, but uh, I'll um, probably uh, give them a miss. Um, if anyone wants the seven, leave a comment in the, in the, in the comments below. Uh, next time, if I can't find KB... Which I'm going to try and find KB, <laughs> you know, um, because you know I, I remember everybody drinking that stuff back in the day. So, oh man, gassy. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, if I can't find KB, I'm probably going to have to do a Carlton United Breweries beer next. It's definitely not going to be VB because VB is going to oh, a special event, but. Um, Maybe Melbourne Bitter? I think Melbourne Bitter might be a good idea. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do next, all right? I'll tell you what I'm going to do next. Every single Christmas, wedding, or graduation in the 80s and 90s, what was the beer that, that, that they got? It was Crownies. Crown Lager. I'm going to do Crown Lager next. I'll tell you what, boys. I will see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment below as well. Uh, crownies next time. I'm going to do Crown Lager next time. Uh, this is Aaron from I Love Tinnies uh, saying thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe and leave a comment. And uh, all the best and uh, bye for now.